Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. And by the time you're hearing this, I'm going to be making my way off to Vegas to go enjoy Magic Con. And in general, just have a vacation and have a break from everything. Because, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm burnt out. But before I go... I did. I did want to make sure to make <laughs> make some arrangements for stuff. First of all, the videos I already do for Thirteen Nights of Halloween should still be going out. The show on archive, which is a show I also do, should also be coming out on Saturday because I found time to record that was in and to watch Gintama stuff. And uh, as for for Go videos specifically, this will be the last one for me until maybe sometime Monday, Tuesday, maybe Tuesday. With my brother doing, he has something planned. I told him, do whatever you want. Just release some videos while I'm gone. And he'll be taking over the channel for a bit. And as for me, I decided to leave off. Since I, well, the main thing is, is that <laughs> I won't be able to actually read and answer back to comments. Because I'll be gone. I'll be looking at all those when I come back. And if you don't know this, I actually do read them all. And I really like to answer them all. If you ever, <laughs> if you ever join a video of mine late... You'll notice that a lot of them are me replying to everything, and if I don't reply, it's because I don't know how to respond back, but I do read them all. Uh, so I figured, because I do that a bunch, I also answer a lot of questions from new players who typically, thanks to one of my various videos where I either talk about upcoming units or talk about something else, they ask me questions. So I figure before I leave off for a couple days, I answer these questions, and it should be easy enough. It will be a very... Hopefully very easy quick video to talk about because I'll just be very vaguely trying to go through all of them So to start off. This is one of the most frequently asked questions. I ask which is should I be pulling in any given banner? Um, and currently on the NA side the one that we should be having is the Halloween revival Which currently is Osaka Behime and Vlad and unless you want specifically the Halloween CEs inside There's or the units featured. There's not a lot of reason to use and what I mean, you need the feature, the units inside, it means literally, if you like Vlad and Ahsoka Behime, that's the only reason you would be summoning for them, because otherwise, most people are fine not having them, or randomly getting them, during one of the many random SSR spooks that can happen in the game. So, that answers that one. Should you be pulling at this moment? No. But then, they, then another question comes up. When should I be pulling? And the answer for that is pretty simple. You should be, first of all, you should make sure to be summoning for one of the support units that most teams use, which that would mean Castoria, Koyanskaya of Light, and the other one is Summer Scotty. And if you're not, those are the main ones you want to go for. That doesn't mean that you can't summon for other units, but it does mean that you have to kind of think about the future when you're summoning for a unit. For example, a lot of people summon for. Van Gogh, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with summoning for Van Gogh, because Van Gogh is a powerful unit, but Van Gogh is also a powerful unit that gives you an idea of where to go next. So, for example, if you look at Van Gogh, you can see that their kit really likes um, its three quick. You go, oh, okay, it has a lot of focus on quick. They have a lot of focus with existence outside of the domain. Who would I go for next? And the answer is Summer Scotty or regular Scotty. Summer Scotty would be your main priority, with then other Scotty being your priority. And then the other unit, and then the, the other reason is is because there's also another unit that's also really good with um, not existence out of side of the domain. I was thinking of, here you go. Not only, I forgot that they buff multiple things. The thing is, is that they are chaotic and evil, so you would want to also go for, go all the way down here. Do 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 Is it, where is he? Where is his? Oh, every time I want to actually legitimately find him, he is nowhere to be found. Uh, I feel like I'm going crazy. How am I not able to find him at the moment? Where the hell are you? <laughs> I'm just going to go through the, the main way. Here we go. Um, go here. I was like, why, why the fuck? When, uh, when all I needed you the most, you weren't there. The other one would be Domen, because Domen buffs uh, evil and chaotic enemies, which is something that Van Gogh is. But also, he's an extremely good quick... Um, he's also an extremely good quick unit for 
uh, AOE purposes, which is for farming things, so therefore you're able to kill two birds with one stone. So, you, But you see what I'm saying here is that you want to form up a plan in your head. If you go for a unit specifically because you like them or because you think that they're really strong, then the next thing after you attempt to get them and you do get them is, all right, now that I have them, I have to start building towards to see when these other dudes are going to be coming up. And this will go into my next question, which is a question I get a whole bunch. When is Castoria coming? And the answer for this one is pretty simple. Um, currently on NA, we're dealing with this banner. And in the future, we're going to be getting Castoria in November. Now, the thing is, in JP, they did it this way. Where the Lost Belt 7 pre-release campaign came after the Fairy Knight Cup. The thing that I'm not sure about is because of what they've done specifically with Halloween, where Van Gogh came before the actual event itself, I don't know if it will stay that way. There's also another banner that happens around uh, Thanksgiving time, which is the Thanksgiving Day banner. And that would coincide with this one a whole bunch. So I don't know if they would want to do this one earlier or if they want to do it later. I really don't know. But the, either way, in November... The pre-release support campaign should start, and that is what will feature Castoria, and that will feature Da Vinci. And then the other follow-up question I get afterwards is, I already have people preparing for the next time Castoria comes around, because they said, I'm not going to be able to get Castoria, a month isn't enough time for me. When is Castoria coming back? And the answer for this one, and which I will then lean into talking about the other uh, supports is, is that for Castoria, the time that she comes back is going to be uh, next year which should be for the 3,000 day anniversary campaign, which should be in literally a year from now, which will also feature Morgan. So if you miss out on Morgan, this would also be your next chance of getting Morgan, because that banner will feature both Castoria and Morgan on it. Um, and while I'm here, it may as well be good. When does Morgan actually come back again? If it's not the 3,000 day. Ah, uh, die, 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 die. Ba, ba, da, da, da. This doesn't mention it, so okay, I guess they didn't feel the need to. But either way, <laughs> not a perfect wiki at times. That's when the next time Castori is going to be here, is that it's the 3000 day, and then she will be back again, because thankfully, not only is Castoria really good, Castoria is also just like a popular unit. That means that she gets back a lot. Here she is again in 2024, so we already know when she's going to be back next year. And we know she's going to be back here in two years. And we also don't know if NA ever decides to do an NA exclusive banner that also brings back Castoria. So there you go. Now, outside of Castoria, there are, of course, other support units that you would want to be summoning for. For example, in December, this is the last big banner of the year. I believe she's in this one. Yes, Coyne Sky of Light, which is the buster support. And Coyne Sky of Light... Being the bus buster support she is, also has multiple banners to her, which if we go down here, we'll see. If you're not able to get her for this one, the next would be... Uh, well, we're done. Obviously not in the... It'd be in the New Year summoning campaign, not in the Lucky Bag. Everyone always has a chance at the Lucky Bag. She'll be a feature during New Year's. So this would be in 2024, so we already know the banner for her. She won't be back for another... Uh, basically a year because you'll be here at the end of December and then a year will pass and we'll be in 2026. 2026 is the next time that you'll have a chance for Koyan Skaya if you do not get her at the end of 2024, which when I put it that way, that's a long ass year. But the other thing you have to also take into account is that we don't know when's the next time Koyan Skaya shows up, if she's going to show up for specifically for an NA exclusive banner. For example, this year, I actually had some people also ask me, are we still going to get this banner? Because she was there for, new, for, for uh, the school banner. And during that school banner... I didn't know, um, I did, they didn't know if it meant like, oh, does that mean that we're not getting her later? The answer is no. We should still be getting her later, and the reason is, if we don't get her later, congratulations, they're going to have a mess on their hands because people are going to complain. Nobody complains when NA does something slightly early, and no one complains when NA introduces something new. What they do complain about, though, is when you take something from them. Because they learned that lesson the hard way during the GSSR in the early years of the game. If you're going to bring something in early, you have to call it what was called in Japan, 
to let people know that this thing is not coming come back later. And for Koi, that's the reason why I think Koinska is still coming this year. It'll take a year for her next official banner, but then again, there's plenty of time for them to be like, hey, you know what? We're back to school. The 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 s turns out the gun dealer still kind of works for back to school. We're gonna bring her back, which is the joke everyone made <laughs> when they revealed her to be the new year for to be the unit next to uh, back to school, which was fucked up for multiple <laughs> reasons, but. Uh, it is what it is on that one. Oh, uh, there's also Merlin. Merlin, Merlin will also be back around this time. Man, man, this is actually a crazy band. I need to not think about this banner right now. Oh, hey, there's La Costa. Anyway. And then next is Summer Scotty, and Summer Scotty is pretty easy to tell when she would come back because it is going to be... Every summer unit always comes back a year later. Um... And this is no exception. They may not do summer reruns in terms of events anymore, but that doesn't mean that she won't be returning again. She'll be back next year. The problem is, is that then she'll be next to Lost Belt 6 Summer, so that might really screw up your plans. So you might have to plan really far ahead. That'll be post-anniversary and post-Lost Belt 6 Summer, so you have to really plan around if you want to get this one. Maybe even try and go for Lucky Bags or GSSR if you really want her bad badly that, that badly, but... And that's currently all we know for the moment, uh, as far as they go. And then the other one, which I always forget because he is a... He is for sure a servant to end all servants in terms of support, but I also forget it because I'm like, oh yeah, he is a... He's a... He's not... He doesn't fit into quick arts or buster, even though his, um... His last skill literally buffs buster, but either way, I never think of him that way. It's Oberon. Uh, Oberon's a pretty big, a uh, pretty big support unit. He's the one that allows a lot of the 70% Buster units to actually function. The ones that get the 30% charge from their uh, skills. He's the reason why they're they're able to actually function. So I can go here all the way down and go down to his next banner, which will be Servant Summer Festival 2023, which will be during Lost Belt Six Summer. And also currently on JP in 2024, he was the big reveal for the crazy multi-year spanning thing. So I'd have to go here and then go 2024. If I go down, yep. Yeah. The 30 million download campaign, he was the main featured star on that one. So that's another time where he will be coming back. Um, and yeah, in terms of your focus, which is the final question I have here. That's how you have to think about your focus. That you kind of have to see, who do I want from here? And if this is a unit that is not a traditional top tier one, which is not the Castoria choice, it is not the Koinskaya, it is not the Oberon, it is not um, Summer Scotty, then the answer is, okay, if they're not any of those, what is their NP and what is their kit and what is it to focus on? If the answer is quick, then the next thing you need to be focusing on is Summer Scotty. If it's Arts, that's easy. That's Castoria. If it's Buster, boom, there you go, Koi and Skaya. And if you're trying to go for a multi-core team type of setup, then your next one is actually Morgan, which is not a support servant, but it is someone who has used a whole bunch in kind of core team farming and stuff like that. So that's basically it. Hopefully that will be able to help any new people that may have some questions that those are the ones that I most frequently see. And um, honestly, I wouldn't mind answering any questions from anyone that has coming forward. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm going to miss a lot of the questions that I see going here, but hopefully anyone down here will have more follow-up in case they can help you. And if they can't help you, then I will gladly answer it when I come back from vacation. Um, and if you have any more questions that maybe you want to see me tackle down the road, I did ask people to actually submit some user questions just to say like, hey, I have some that I want to answer before I go, but if you have any specifics that you want me to answer, then I'll answer them for you. And here we go, we have some. The three users who asked some questions. So first we come in and I told them, ask me anything, because that's how I used to run it. Back when I was a part of the Dokkan Reddit, back when Dokkan was a game worth talking about, um, which is during early um, God Lead meta days. <laughs> Those were my old days. Uh, Super Vegito, Ninja Murasaki, that was my shit. Um, I used to have, I used to run the question and answers thread and I got to be known and I got to be made a mod, not because I actually made any post. All I did was answer people's questions and no one, and I never did anything but answer questions until eventually they said, Hey, do you just want to join the team? Cause you do nothing but answer questions and that's very helpful. And I said, sure. And that's how I joined. But anyway, in terms of uh, user questions, forgive me on your names if I don't say it correctly, but here we go. First one comes from Lao Jenny. 
who says, Ever since the FGO or FGO X Sanrio collab vid, I was wondering which Sanrio characters are you and your brother's faves. Personally, I love Kiaramichan. That's a pretty good choice for him. I, um, for me, the one that I like the most is actually just Hello Kitty. <laughs> I love uh, Hello Kitty. It's the reason why I was always, I was super bummed out when I saw that um, I missed out on the Hello Kitty Gundam, the one where it's Hello Kitty as either the R the R what the hell is the name of the Gundam? Is it the RX eighty? I remember enough about Gundam to say it's the RX Gundam. I forget the act. The RX-78-2 Gundam. Um, there was one where Hello Kitty's dressed up as that Gundam, uh, which I can just put up on the screen for right now so you can see it in all its glory. Uh, and there's also one of her as a Zaku and one of with Char Zaku, which is just a red Zaku. And I was always <laughs> bummed out after I got into started getting into Gundam that I missed out on it, and now I have to find it somewhere that will off offer it for me to an at an affordable price. But in general, I really like Hello Kitty. If you give me a game featuring Hello Kitty, I'll play the shit out of that. If you give me the choice of who to be out of everyone, I will likely pick Hello Kitty. And if someone has picked um, Hello Kitty, then I will go for... Let me see. Um, I'll probably go from there. Probably Kuropi would be the next one that goes after that one. And then the third one will probably be Batsmaru. And that goes into the next one. That's my brother's favorite, because I asked him before this just because he's going to be working while I record these. So I don't want to bother him too much, so I asked him beforehand, and he said it is Batsmaru, because he, he loves him some penguins. So there are, those are theirs. <laughs> Feel free to tell me, again, your favorite Sanrio characters. I will gladly talk about them. And I also realize it's been a while. Maybe during Thanksgiving I need to release another video of me playing Hello Kitty. A Hello Kitty game. It has been long enough that I should release another one. Thank you for the question. Next one, we have... I'm gonna go in order because this last one is actually a legit Fago question, so I'll start with this one. <laughs> which would, which will be a Baptizing, who says, If you were a newcomer in Fago, No, that is not. That is not his question. That is the one that I... So one moment, pause. Alright, I'm back. It was by Baptizing, which is, have you been on the first Ascendant grind? I know you do MMOs like Final Fantasy, and I plan to jump back on MMOs soon, but they are very time intensive as a free to play like me. That's the question. Uh, and my answer is, I actually really hate MMOs <laughs> as a genre. The only one I've ever been able to get into is is this one actually, is Final Fantasy XIV, and I need to get back on that actually pretty quickly. So I didn't even know, I don't know what the first Descent is, but in general, the way you want to get me off your game is tell me it's an MMO, um, because I cannot stand MMOs. And it's not through lack of trying either. Uh, this is like, it took me like five different chances and multiple friends to eventually get me on Final Fantasy XIV, and then eventually I said, all right, and I finally, it finally clicked on me. But I had another friend who was very big into MMOs, who would always send me on various different, like Wildstar or through the years, any of them, Guild Wars 2, he would always send me to them and be like, okay, we can try it and we can play it. And I'm like, okay. And I'd play it, I'd play it, I'd play it, and then I'd just be done with it. I don't know what it is. I think it's the control scheme. I was not a PC kid growing up. I was a console kid. So anything that is like a PC for focused with keyboard, unless it's Counter-Strike, I really don't care. So I end up not being the greatest fan of MMOs. Plus, I... If, Funny enough, a lot of the MMO grind has been replaced with, like, gotchas and stuff. So I really don't have a lot of time to dedicate myself to, like, for example, Final Fantasy XIV and, um, and Fago. It's just not really conceivable. The only way it's possible is that, thankfully for me, Fago has a lot of downtime, and that's how I usually get things done and stuff. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, it's not really a genre I super follow. I'm more likely to get into a game that is like constantly ongoing, like a gacha game, if it's like fun to play. Like for example, um, Zenla Zone Zero is not an MMO, but it is a constantly ongoing video game that just also so happens to be super singular, a single player focused. So I'm able to get into stuff like that. But MMOs, they were never really my bag. Especially anything really multiplayer has never really been my bag. Um, except for those brief time where I played LAN games of Counter-Strike back at my old, um, LGS when I went there. 
uh, uh, during my middle and high school days. And I had to stop going around college because I started going to college in LA and that took away a lot of my time. But anyway, there you go. Hope, uh, good luck on your first Ascent grind. I would agree. If you're playing an MMO as a free-to-play, that sounds insane to me. Best of luck to you. <laughs> I could not imagine an MMO where it's like, hey, you grind harder if you play free-to-play. And I'm like, nah, man. I'm good. And finally, the last question will comes in from Gira Fox, which is, this is Fago related, who's asked, If you were a newcomer in Fago, who just got who just got the mainly recommended supports, Castoria, Koyanskaya of Light, Koyan of Light, Ruler Scotty, and let's say you gotta choose one DPS, single target, or AoE servants of each of the seven main classes, who will you choose? Oh man. So let me see if I get this right. If you're a newcomer, mainly recommended. I feel like it changes depending on which one of them. I'll try and give the seven. So, so the seven main classes, I can look at this here. Thankfully, we can return here, and I can look at the seven main. So for Saber, let me see. Um, I'm going to focus in on, say, because the one I usually say is... Um, actually, we'll see. In terms of an art Saber, I usually go for... If it was a banner unit, it's usually Bride Nero. The reason is is that she is a really good DPS, but she's also a really, really good support unit. And I feel like a lot of people uh, don't realize how... Uh, what's the right word for it? It's like a Swiss Army knife of what you need for her in that specific moment. Do I need a support that gives a little bit of... N that gives some NP gain, some charge, and some attack, and then heals? Or do I want her as the actual DPS who's going to be doing the attacking and doing the healing and doing all that? In which case... That's why she is my go-to if I were to go for um, arts in terms of a DPS. For quick, I don't think one exists at the moment. None that I can think of. Oh, it's Charlemagne. So I'd probably go with Charlemagne just because I like Charlie. But I also reckon it's a little bit hard for me to ever recognize quick units. Just because quick units are like take a lot of investment. So it's always a thing of like if you really enjoy them and their playstyle then go for quick units, which I do, but also realize it takes a lot to actually get invested in them. I also like Santa Carna, but he's not a banner unit. He's a... He's a... Oh, well, it doesn't say that it has to be banner units on this question. So it'd be between them in terms of quick. These are my two favorite quick sabers. And then for arts... Uh, not for arts. For Buster, it is... Buki. I love a Buki. So she'd be my go-to. <laughs> I don't really, I'm, uh, I'm the type of gamer I am is that I really d focus heavily on farming stuff. So I tend to like AoE dudes, which you're going to see as I talk the next one. For Archer, this is easy. Super Ryan for Buster. Even though he has an Arts NP, he is an uh, he is a Buster Gorilla through and through. In terms of Arts, that's also pretty easy because this is just going back to close to year one gaming. That's, um... Summer Summer Saber, my ever go-to. I absolutely love her. And in terms of quick units, ah, uh, do I even really use a quick? It's I don't think I really use one to be 100% real with you. I'll go with. Wait, it's P Patelomeos, isn't he a quick? No, he's not. He's Buster in arts. Actually, he's nowhere near quick. Uh, maybe Tonkatsuji. Maybe Tonkatsuji would be the one. I mean, the thing is, is that when I think of a either a DPS quick art the archer, I don't none really come to mind. A lot of I guess Babo Sif is actually pretty solid to get for now that I think about it, especially with the most recent um, grind node on NA, where she's pretty really insane with um, the Black Grail. I think that's probably a pretty pretty solid choice there. But she's also a four star, so anyone is going to naturally get her. Um. But say it again. Say no. The thing is, say is too hard to use. So if I were to tell a new person to go for say, I feel like I'd get my YouTuber badge revoked. <laughs> she's not. She's like a, a late into the game type of unit. Takatsuji is quick. I'll go with Takatsuji because I like his style. I have absolutely no idea what he does because he unfortunately is not on NA yet. So he's in my don't worry about it until he comes out phase. But I'll go with him. Lancer. Uh, in terms of the main DPS, that's easy. For quick, it's Skahawk. I absolutely love Skahawk. She's carried me since the early years of the game. In terms of arts and uh, Buster, though, 
Uh, arts, I'd probably go with... Oh, the Buster's easy. It's Melisane. Duh. And Arts, I will give it to Ryoma. I'm going to go with only mostly five stars on this one. I'm assuming on it. But it is a little bit weird to say like, oh yeah, go for Ryoma if you want an Arts Lancer. For the most part, it's not really needed. Um, you can actually go for Melusane again. This time, actually, there you go. My Arts and my Buster is Melusane. Because as my brother pointed out, she is single target and she is also AoE. So she fits two roles. And then for quick, it's 100% Skahawk. And then next, let's see. We got Ryder. Um, you don't need anyone else but Quetzalcoatl. Buster, Quetzalcoatl, number one pick. Every single time, locked in. For the other two classes, for Arts, it would probably actually, funny enough, be Habitrot for, um, for Arts. <laughs> Just simply because she is insanely good, but she's a, technically a free-to-play unit, so I won't go with her. Da Vinci is the next one for, for arts. She's an AoE unit. I think she's fantastic in a lot of things that she's done, and she's held up very well. And then for quick, yeah, for quick it's Taigong Wong. With me not looking again to the future stuff, because there are some other units that I, I'm not mentioning just because they're not on NA yet, so I don't really have that much experience for them, and I'm a, taking this from the lens of NA. Uh, next is Castor. This one's easy. Castoria for arts. For... Do you really need anyone else? I get No, it's for DPS. I'm stupid. Alright, DPS. Um, for arts, it would actually be Shirazade. But that's because I love Shirazade and I think she does a lot of good things. Even though I've heard Shikabu is also very good in that role. Both of them can kind of fit there. For Buster, I think that's Da Vinci. I think Da Vinci's Buster, if I remember right. No, she's also arts. Never mind. What is a good buster? Probably Queen of Sheba. In terms of who I've used the most over the years, it's definitely been Queen of Sheba. Our caster is a little bit weird because it's more of a... Oh, it's uh, Zhang Zong. Zhang Zong for buster, and then for quick, it is the mice. Where are they? Um, it's Daikikoten. Those would be my three for there. And then next, for assassin, for a quick, comma is... The, the quick assassin that uh, choice that I go to right there comma uh, coin sky is actually a pretty good DPS for for Buster because she can also be used as her own so I'll go with that one um, and then the final one which would be arts this is a little bit of cheating but he is coming up so I'm gonna go with Tez Tez is definitely the one as soon as he comes out I'm like oh yeah get Tez absolutely get Tez Tez is insane I, I love Tez. It's not just my bias to Quetzalcoatl. They also made Tez insane if you look at what he does. Um, which I don't got time for. I will be talking about that later in the year, so look forward to that. And then finally for Berserker. Um, and this is the last one for this one. For Let me see. For Buster, it's definitely Kentucky. For Arts, it's... I could cheat and say Summer Castoria for this one. No, actually, it's Summer Ibuki. I love Summer Buki, locked in, and then, oh man, actually, I would go Arjuna Altar over Kentucky. I just remembered. <laughs> Ar yeah, so Arjuna Altar, Summer Buki, and then for quick, the choice for them is te technically Sen. This one's easy. The, <laughs> the three big ones, Sen, Ibuki, and Arjuna Altar, because usually if you're getting any of the other three, Castoria, Koyan, and Scotty, your next decision is going, okay, how quickly can I get these three other guys immediately onto my team? <laughs> so it's a little bit cheating. So there you go. Hopefully that answers just a little bit more. Those are the main ones. As you can see here, because I have a little bit of trouble thinking of some of them for like Archer and Lancer and stuff. It just goes to show, that, not Lancer, Archer and Rider. When you have one unit that so focuses on just like beating stuff, then it's very hard to actually use the other. It's actually very rare for me to be like... Oh yeah, I have a specific case where I want to use all three of these. All three of these units. What am I in the mood for? It's really just more like, well, I already have this one unit kind of squared off. So I'm just going to use them for any cases of I need more power here. So, All right, thank you very much, Kira Fox, for the question. Hopefully that answered it well enough. And that is the end for this question video. Thank you very much for watching, if you did. Um, hopefully the questions at the beginning, any that you may have, will be answered. And if you have any questions for later on, I'll be back later to answer them. Uh, hopefully I was able to answer just enough of them. And yeah, from this point on, if you hear another Fago video, it will likely be my brother. Um, he's got something cook cooking up in his brain. He'll figure it out. 
But I'll see you guys later. You guys enjoy yourself. You guys have a nice little three-day, four-day weekend, whatever it is. I think thir you have a nice Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, even Monday. And I'll see you guys back in terms of Fago probably sometime around Tuesday. And again, if you care about any of the other stuff I do outside of Fago, you don't have to worry. All that stuff will continue on. So until next time, everyone, peace out.